Hello there and welcome to another episode with me, Lawrence Brown. Now, on the back of the quiz that I took a few weeks ago in which I successfully uh, placed all of the 50 states on a blank map of America, a few of you asked me to try to name uh, the state capitals of those 50 states. Now, I should point out that I did attempt this a few years ago right here on YouTube. I kind of made a real mess of it and I wasn't really happy with, uh, with how I did. Now, I did learn these state capitals when I was younger as a child. So uh, when I did it a few years ago or attempted it a few years ago, it was based on my memories from being a kid of what those state capitals were. And like I said, I, I kind of messed it up. So today is, is, is an attempt to make up for that a little bit and to see what I can do. Now, in England, we don't learn the state capitals nor even the states uh, in school. Uh, this was just something that I chose to do in my own free time. All the other boys were off chasing girls down the street. I don't know why it was down the street. And I was trying to commit Indianapolis to my brain. Now, as with most of the quizzes that I've taken over the last few weeks, I went to sporkle.com and found a quiz that's going to test me on the state capitals. So keep watching, play along, and let me know if I get your state capital correct. And also, if you live in one of the state capitals, let me know below. All right, let's get playing. Okay, play quiz. So as you can see, we have uh, 10 minutes in which to do this. So of course, I'm going to rattle on at the beginning of this quiz like an idiot and waste time. No, I'm not. Um, but I am going to say that uh, obviously a lot of the states, they're not quite the cities you expect them to be, um, as we will find throughout this. And when I did this quiz three years ago on YouTube, I made a bit of a balls up of it. So I'm hoping not to do that again. We're going alphabetically. I chose not to do multiple choice, a multiple choice quiz, because I just wanted to see how good my memory is for uh, conjuring up these answers. So first one there, Alabama, you know, I think my brain wants to go with uh, Mobile or Birmingham, but it's neither of those. I remember it's to be uh, Montgomery, uh, so we will put that in. Uh, Alaska, uh, do you know the answer to that? Because I do. It is Juno. Uh, oops, but I'm misspelling it. That's pathetic. Come on. There we go. Okay, Arizona. Now, this is one of those where it's exactly as you expect it, I assume anyway. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Arkansas is another one of those. It's Little Rock. I've never been to the great state of Arkansas, but I hope to get out there one day. California, this one throws a lot of people for a loop, me included right now, because I'm struggling to think. It is certainly not LA, it is certainly not San Francisco, it is, oh, uh, Sacramento. And I have to remember how to spell that. It is like that, good. Uh, Colorado is Denver, I've been to the Denver area. Uh, Connecticut, this one always trips me up because I I'm torn between two English sounding cities, Hartford and Stamford. And I think I want to say it is Hartford. Incidentally, it is Hartford. I want to try to get these correct on my first answer. You know, uh, uh, Sporkle is going to tell me, even if I put it, put the second answer and get it correct, Sporkle's going to tell me that I am correct. Uh, but for my own sort of sanity, I want to get this right the first time, first time around each time. Delaware, uh, that's a nice easy one for me because it, it is an English sounding city. It's Dover. It's named after the English city of Dover. Um, and also, a little piece of trivia, Dover, Delaware is in uh, Kent County in Delaware. And Dover, England is in the county of Kent in, in England. So um, interesting how the names transferred over. Florida. Now, I, I've been to Florida in 1990. I was eight years old. Um, I was surprised to discover that the capital of Florida was not Disney World at that age. Um, I was almost disappointed to find it wasn't. Um, but uh, the, the name has stuck with me, if not the spelling. Tallahassee. Oh, goodness. Is that right? It is right. That's amazing. Okay, uh, Georgia. That's uh, That's one of those, again, where it is kind of as you would expect it is atlanta same with hawaii we've got honolulu um and then we're moving on to idaho where i've just been uh, and i'm reliably informed by locals that it's pronounced boise and not boise um so that's that one illinois obviously chicago i'm kidding i know it's not it's one of those springfields many of which pop up around the united states which was of course was um the joke in the simpsons uh indiana where i've lived where i lived for three years can't really forget that one. Uh, I lived in Indianapolis for three years, I should state. I lived in Indiana in general for eight years. Iowa, which is the next state over from me, I've always remembered this one, um, which is Des Moines. Um, is that how you pronounce it locally? I'm assuming it's not Des Moines, as uh, is um, comically uh, the pronunciation among many who are just messing around, I think. Kansas, oh, what are you? Oh, goodness. Why am I throwing a blank on Kansas? And I have six minutes left. That's not good. Uh, Kansas is so not Kansas City. And, you know, Kansas City, of course, is uh, mostly in Missouri anyway. Um, what is Kansas? It's not uh, Wichita. 
It's oh, it's uh, Topeka. Goodness me, I don't know how I did that. Uh, Kentucky is Frankfurt. It's not Louisville. It's very easy to think it is. Oh, not Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Frankfort. What am I doing? It's not. We're not in Europe. There we go. Uh, Louisiana is Baton Rouge, which is French. Much like Louisiana. Um, Maine. I've been to Maine. It's not Portland. It is not Bangor, which is an airport that I went to. It is. Um, it's Augusta. Whew. Uh, Maryland. Oh goodness, Maryland is. It was named after Queen Anne. It is Annapolis. Yes, not not Baltimore. It's very easy for my brain to go there. Massachusetts, though, is the obvious choice. It is Boston. Uh, Michigan, uh, not Detroit. Definitely not Detroit. Um, it is the airport that I flew into a few years ago, 10 years ago, Lansing. Uh, Minnesota, oh, this, this one's always tough because it's, for me, it's either Minneapolis or St. Paul. And I have to remind myself each time that it is, I think, St. Paul. Why do I forget that every single time? Thank you. It is St. Paul. Uh, Mississippi, Jackson. Uh, Missouri is not St. Louis, uh, not Kansas City, as we alluded to earlier. It is is uh, Jefferson City. Goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. We're only halfway through, but we're halfway through the timer, more or less. Uh, so I'm going to try to uh, speed through these. Um, Montana is um, Helena. Yes, Nebraska is Lincoln, not named after the English city in Lincoln, but named after Abraham Lincoln, although it was previously uh, the capital the, or the name of uh, that city was Lancaster, named after Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which was named after Lancaster, England. Uh, Nevada is not Reno, it's not Las Vegas, it is um, uh, Carson City. Carson City, there we go. Uh, New Hampshire is uh, Concord. Uh, New Jersey, you are, oh, gosh, goodness, are you, what are you? You're, it's, uh, it's not Newark, it's Trenton, Trenton, New Jersey. No, there's no E at the beginning of Trenton, Electronic Trenton. That would be a different city altogether. Uh, New, New Mexico, I learned this and it just stayed with me from a very early age, Santa Fe. New York, of course, famously not New York City, and it is, in fact, Albany. Uh, North Carolina. Uh, this one can trip you up. It's not Charlotte. Uh, it is... Oh, it's named after Sir Walter, isn't it? It is Raleigh. Uh, North Dakota. Now, this is where I tripped up on the previous attempt. North Dakota is... Uh, that one is Bismarck, isn't it? I think. Am I spelling Bismarck correctly? I don't know that I am. I, I wasn't, but there we go. That is that is the correct spelling. Um, Ohio is Columbus. Oops. Um, Oklahoma, easy one, Oklahoma City. Uh, ooh, what we got? Oregon, oh goodness, uh, Salem. Uh, Pennsylvania is not Pittsburgh, it's not Philadelphia, it's Harrisburg. Oh, we're getting close, two minutes 54. Uh, Rhode Island, you are Providence. South Carolina, oh goodness me, it's, it's not, um, uh, it's not Charleston. Uh, which was named after King Charles II, I believe. It is, uh, it's Columbia. Uh, Columbia, I believe, is the capital city. Oops, spell it right, you fool. Yes, South Dakota is Pierre, or as locals pronounce it, Pierre. Um, I believe that's what I've been told. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Tennessee is Nashville. Been in Nashville, great music city. Texas, oh, you're not Dallas. It's either Dallas or Austin. I think it is Austin. Yes, it is. Whew. Uh, Austin, uh, uh, Utah, rather, Salt Lake City. The story is coming soon, believe me. Hang in there. Uh, okay, we're down to the last few now. Vermont, it's a French one, uh, but the locals don't pronounce it the French way necessarily. Uh, it is Montpellier. Oh, I'm getting very nervous. Oh, why is that not taking? Montpellier, is it just one? Oh, it is, it's one L. Uh, Virginia is Richmond, named after, I believe, Richmond in England. Uh, Washington State is Olympia. Yes. Who? Uh, West Virginia. This is Charleston. Uh, this Charleston was named after Charleston in South Carolina, which was named after uh, King Charles II. Come on, spell it right. You're running out of time, you fool. Charles. What am I doing? I put it in the wrong place. There we go. Charleston. Okay, we've got two more. Wisconsin is... What is Wisconsin? It is not... Uh, 
It's not Milwaukee. It's not Green Bay. What is it? It's suddenly escaping me. This is not good. I have one minute left. Oh, no. Um, oh, you fool. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. And I'm looking ahead to Wyoming, and now I'm getting very nervous and suddenly spacing both of them. Um, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is... Okay, just breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Think. Oh, this is maddening. Um, okay. It's definitely not Milwaukee. Why am I forgetting this? This one used to just come to me like that. Oh, yeah, uh, Madison. You fool. You've wasted time there. Now you've, now you've left yourself with 30 seconds to get Wyoming. What the bloody hell are you, Wyoming? Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, it's not Yellowstone National Park. I wish it was. Um, 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 uh, oh, uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, how have you pronounced it? Sorry about the pronunciation there. Got it with 17 seconds to spare. Whew, that's all 50. That is... Pretty good, I think. I mean, I couldn't have done much better, I suppose. Uh, I was really nervous at the end there. My voice was quivering, uh, but I'm glad to have done it. And uh, that just makes me feel so happy after butchering this three years ago. Well, that was one of the most tense things I've done all year. And we are right at the end of the year. So that says a lot. Uh, with the exception there of the mispronunciation of Cheyenne, I, I think I did okay. And I'm pretty happy uh, with how that went. Um, you know, I think that given more time, I would have loved to have injected uh, more trivia into some of those answers, uh, trivia that I've learned along the way. Uh, maybe I'll do a future video on that very thing. But for now, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your 2018. Enjoy the rest of Vlogmas Extra with me, Lawrence Brown. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at lawrence.m.brown. All right, thanks. Thank you for watching another episode. And if you were wondering why the bed looked wonky in that video, it's because the uh, camera was actually slightly wonky. The bed was fine. The lampshade, on the other hand, was wonky. No excusing that. And uh, if you like what we do on this channel and you would like to support us, uh, the best way to do that is at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. That way, uh, your name will show up to the right here with these lovely fine folks. And uh, just some exciting news coming from January 1st onwards. We are adding in a $2 tier. Um, and anyone that uh, subscribes to that $2 tier or above uh, will get first dibs on those Ask a Brick questions. Uh, they'll be coming monthly to Patreon first and foremost before anywhere else. And uh, again, if you really do like what we do on this channel, definitely click around on our channel. We have plenty more, including the video I alluded to in this video, which is this one right here in which I uh, try to guess the uh, 50 states on a blank map. And of course, if you haven't had the chance to do so, you better go ahead and subscribe by punching my stupid little face until it hurts.